guys. Oh my god, I'm really nervous for this video. Um, I was gonna script it, but then I wanted to be 100% real with you guys. So I'm back. It's been a while. The last time I uploaded a proper video was back in September. So it's been about three months ish, three, four, maybe a bit more. And the reason was because I have been struggling. Um, my channel uh, was mental, uh, mentally originally supposed to just be like about my life, like vlogs and everything, and like reactions and stuff. But I've been ten, I've tent, um, I've tended to keep all the mental health stuff um, kind of out of it. Um, earlier on last year, I did post I think a video or two about my health. But I have been putting off quite a lot of this video. Um, I have been wanting to do it. It's been in my notes for such a long time. It's been in my notes to do it for years. But I never wanted to do it because it's like... When I watch other people's videos saying about their mental health, I think they're very really strong. But then when you read the comments on their videos, they're like... People are like, oh, you're doing this for attention. No. I'm doing this because there's no point me lying to you anymore, guys. Um... And it's just also, I'm not doing just this for you guys, I'm mainly doing it for myself. To prove to myself that I am strong enough to do it and in the future when I look back on this video, it's just kind of, I want to see how far I've come. And it does, I think honestly it does take quite a lot to sit in front of a camera and admit to the whole world you have got issues. I, I have a letter, I have a letter here. I'm not going to read you all of it because there's some things that um, i rather not share but you know I'm going to share some of it. So it says Dear Molly, that's me, um, my, my social, by the way guys before I start reading the letter my social media is in the link below if you relate to this video or you ever want to talk or message me about anything in this video you just add my Instagram and just message me. So it says, thank you for meeting with, uh, with us on Thursday the 20th of December. Look guys, this is real, it's not... It's got the NHS logo and everything, so... You know. So it says, thank you for meeting with us on Thursday the 20th of December. You were referred to our GP... Uh, to our team by your GP. After you told her you were feeling very low. I've been feeling low for years and you will find out as much as... You possibly can in this letter. I may miss some bits, so if I stop talking, it's because I'm scanning it. Because I don't want to tell you everything from a letter. I want to tell you what I want to tell you. Uh, she says it was very brave of you to be so open with us about difficulties that you face. She told us that you have been having problems with your mood and thoughts since you were 11. You can tell that in my songs, um, but you find it very hard to tell people how you feel. I do. I have to tell people how I feel through my songs, other people's songs, letters, drawings, poems, things like that. Or stories, mainly. Uh, but you find it very hard to tell people how you feel it and you have not been given the support that you feel that you needed. Which I haven't. At all. You spoke to spoke of school counsellors getting worn out, seeing you, doctors giving up on you and various support groups not meeting your needs, which is 100% true. I even have proof. Well, I haven't got proof. My mum has proof. Um, so one day, maybe in the future, I will show you all the doctor's letters and everything, maybe. You explained that you have very dark thoughts and often feel muddled. You struggle to control your anger and you spoke about incidents where you were very violent towards other people at school and college. You also told us about the aggressive bullying you have experienced. It sounds like you had a very difficult time in school. That is a completely different um, story time. Because I really want to do it, but it's the person uh, that... The violent incident happened to that I have to speak to and ask if it's okay if I share it obviously I'll change their name and everything but yeah that and um, you explain that uh, you also talked about aggressive bullying you've had experienced you also told us how you found it difficult to pay attention and take part in certain subjects but in other others English lit and resistant children who enjoyed learning and achieved B and a C grades at GCSE your mum also commented that you have you are able to achieve in school. You said you especially enjoyed the darker themes. I am able to achieve in drama and art, 
but maths and everything else, no. This bit was kind of like when they said like why did I why did I get such a high grade in English literature? Uh, it says here, which is a hundred percent true. Um, you said you especially enjoyed the darker themes, example, death and blood. In stories and poems as you could relate to them. Um, my favourite poem, poem is Simon Armitage, Remains, which I love. It's amazing. I might actually do a video one day where I read the poem. You shared that you hate yourself. And you are terrible. I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm laughing because it's true. And it's like when someone else makes a comment and you're like about like you said when someone like analyzes you and reads you and you and you just sit there like and you laugh because you're like yeah it's true I do hate myself it's like Billie Eilish's song I don't want to be you which is my life and you are terrified of and are terrified of who you are so you take on different characters to help you cope that's why MC Molly and My Life Molly Gracie are so important to me. Sometimes these characters are darker personalities from films and books. You said you hide the truth of who you are from everybody, including yourself. You describe this as being a clown, painting on a fake smile while feeling unhappy underneath. And also spoke of the release you feel when you can be someone else and leave the, the, their baggage at the end of the day. So I've actually written a song a couple of years ago called Clown. Um, hopefully, well, it's, like, it's like a poem thing. Hopefully this year I'm gonna upload it. So a lot of this is gonna a lot of this letter and everything in this video you're gonna see projects from later on in the year. Hopefully. Or the next couple of months or weeks or years. Um what was I uh leave their baggage at the end of the day. Other wh another way you made sense of your feelings was fa by saying having depression in your life was like being in an abusive relationship. You are scared of the depression but also scared of who you would be without it in your life. So it's kind of really hard to explain that unless you have depression or you or your parents or you are so close with someone who has it. When you have the depression it's kind of like a security bank if you know what I mean because like when that depression's gone you're like quite scared because like all you see is like dark and you, everything's negative and you feel so depressed so when someone tells you to snap out of it you're just kind of like how can I snap out of something that I'm so involved in? It may, it's really hard to explain it so hopefully you can understand what I'm trying to say you told us that you often think about suicide but you really don't want to die you have thought about how you might kill yourself walk out into traffic and have not and have no fixed plan um, your mum is one of the reasons you want to stay alive and you don't want to upset her however you worry about what might happen if you ran out of resources so this, this is where I'm not saying they twisted it, but this is where they kind of nitpicked the statement a bit, but it's fine. Uh, I'm not saying that, I didn't just say that comment to get them in trouble, but it's just like, but it's the way I was like, I was really hysterical when I was crying my eyes out, so I guess it is kind of hard just to like pick things out of it that are, that are helpful. You shared you may go off the rails and hurt yourself, which I actually did. I did hurt myself and I will explain that in another video. Uh, you told us that you think your ADHD is also a protective factor as you get very distracted from your suicidal thoughts too quickly to act on them. You use art and creative writing as an outlet for your feelings and share pictures, poems, and songs and stories that you have created. This was an impressive and moving collection which showed both artistic skill and good level of insight into your experiences. You also shared how you have a character, MC Molly, who acts as an inspirational for other people struggling with depression. As MC Molly, you post songs on YouTube and have quite a following of fans. I never said that, but that's their impression and okay. Other YouTube artists have asked to collaborate with you and people have said how much your songs have helped them feel better. You said you feel more confident as MC Molly and enjoy supporting and empowering other people. I have had people actually ask me to collaborate and we're just waiting to do it. I've had a couple of artists want to help me write songs. I've had one particular artist that want, who lives in America. I think I have mentioned this before on Instagram Live in December, but that's a whole nother story and everything. 
but like being MC Molly is empowering and everything but it's all it's just the character at the end of the day so your mum joined us at the beginning of the appointment and she told us that you should like she feels sometimes don't understand that some of the things you do such as getting into strangers I can't just gonna miss that whole entire section because there's no point saying that she also talked about how you can often give the right answers about daily living situations when you struggle to know what to do and you say these to help you help you in situations when you feel uncomfortable around doctors you say these things so you feel like you can be more independent and feel normal your mum shared that she was never sure which Molly she was talking to as your moods and personalities change so quickly. This is where it gets to the dangerous factor of me. You don't know if you're, you don't know if you're talking to Molly, the real one, or the MC Molly, or just someone completely different. She told us a little bit about your home life. You live with your twin brother who also has a diagnosis of ASD, Autism Spectrum Disorder. However, the two of you are very different. He likes things to be neat whilst you're not very tidy and as much as you don't get on. You have no relationship with your father, which is my real one, who left when you were two years old. However, you do get on with your mum's long-term partner, Paul. Sometimes Paul finds it difficult to be a part of your family and has you left for your mum a few times, which is a whole other story. However, they are currently back together. Your mum shared a little of her own history, disclosing some child abuse and suggestions that she is also on the autism spectrum based on how she coped with her experiences. Which I didn't really like the fact the way they included that. You said you would like to have therapy to help you understand and accept yourself. And you would like to talk about your nan who died in 2015. You would also like to know more about autism. You were also interested in seeing a, psy a psychiatrist could be helpful and have a one and wondered about music therapy. You reported a long and possible confusing list of diagnosis, ADHD, Asperger's hyperthyroidism which is in my throat which I've talked quite a lot about home mobility, learning and behavioural difficulties and anger issues you also have named the problem you have described in a session as depression we are a team for adults who have learned difficulties which prevent them from accessing mainstream mental health services for me and you hearing how well you can explain your experiences and also the fact you achieve good grades as GCSE we don't think a learning difficult disability would be a helpful or accurate label to add to your list and it just goes on by saying thank you for your honesty and bravery in our session. We can't help you. Blah 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 blah. So the the good thing about that whole entire letter is it proves that I'm not lying. But then it also does it also proves that no one's willing to help me. So um yeah and it is and it they sent another letter as well but i don't see the point of sharing that because it's just basically them saying they physically can't help me and they are unable to and they gave me a leaflet a leaflet and a form to kind of you know like refer myself somewhere else um so it, it just i don't want to come off as like oh yeah she's fine she's not crying on camera because I I want to cry but I want to be strong and if it is hard because I've literally just opened everything up to you guys I've admitted to having multiple personalities and everything about my depression about you don't that I have to use the characters through the YouTube I have to I do suffer with depression, I do want, I am suicidal, I have wanted to kill myself, I have a plan, I know what I would do but my mum's the reason and YouTube is the reason I'm not. So it is kind of an eye opener for you guys and for me so if anyone is triggered by this um, then I really am sorry. Um, I will leave, if I, I will leave some mental health links below, um, if I remember I will leave some links in the description below. And if you guys ever do want to talk to me, my social media is in the description, so just message me and I'll be more than happy to help you or give you some advice. Um, and if I can't help you, then I will leave, I will give you some numbers and or an email or something. Um, there may be some more videos like this coming, um, so hopefully you guys will understand. I love you. So, uh, Nanny Bitch will be out on the 15th and there will be plenty more videos coming this year.
So hopefully guys, you can keep me motivated. If you keep me motivated, I will keep on doing the videos.